Welcome back to the channel guys. David Harris here today. Me and Callum are out washing this house. The roof, just the front here and right there. But out back we have a brown deck that's painted. I'm gonna see if I can see it really quick. Nope. <laughs> yeah, there it is. And I don't want to be getting any SH on that. So I'm able to actually walk up the roof and kind of go on the peak. Um, and I'll set up my ladder like this on the main house there. Down there where Callum was just walking to shoot the roof. So let's see if I can get here for you. So I can shoot the roof from the peak and just shoot right across. And then when I'm over here, step up here and I can shoot across a little bit, I think. Just so we're not shooting over the roof, guys. All right, I'm gonna jump, uh, jump up here, dump out my line, and uh, have Callum spraying up the siding and everything, so there's no overspray issues. Let's get to it. good and we actually just got another batch in guys uh, we use a place around us in Alboro and I got a good connection with them so I'll be able to sell it too for their exact price which is great and again I don't know I can't get this pressure switch to adjust correctly it was all out of whack but so we're still using the switch and yeah And I'm gonna start up this thing here. We're not gonna use this. I don't really like it, guys. This is what I like. I even rock with this here. All right. So I just gotta dump out my line here. We only have the flow for one just to keep it in rinse mode for Callum. It is, yeah, this is my kill switch. Let me just hit the start button. All that goes down. It's a little steep. Just up here because you don't want to get anything over it. Right? Alright, now I'm not too worried about spraying over anything or any of that shit. Alright. So I get rid of my own spray there. That's alright. So we've been putting the ladder right up on this gable wall on this peak hopefully it does drop down here but i think we can set it up where the arm just goes right over both sides we'll spray right across you guys sorry taking that off my head yeah i think you guys can see there that i did get over and it sprayed and it got a lot of that so we still have to do a little bit on the bottom half but that's okay, I won't be, I, at least I know now I'm not going to be spraying over the roof onto that deck. So it's good. And we're 
get this ladder here. You know, I got some really low lines. So I'm actually just gonna roll it like this. Pick it up. And grab it real low. Like that. <clears throat> Alright. So you can see. We're touching. Now we're touching. Hope that you want. Oh. Yeah, just really soak it up, really. So this is all going to be about right here. Getting really good coverage, so I have to put this ladder back up either. Step up that line. I'm gonna clean out these gutters here. Gutters over there. Luckily, there's not a gutter on that door right now, so we're good. And so, how to clean out the gutters? I'm going to be using my little shorty gun with the hex jet. Done here, and we'll show you what he's gonna be doing out back here. Is this? All right, guys, get this patio paver patio out here that goes around the pool. Um, so what I think we're gonna be doing? Well, not what I think. What we are going to be doing is spraying a very hot six percent mix on this whole thing and just let it dwell while I do the gutters. And yeah, probably take this cover right here and I'm gonna put that right on top of that. But yeah, you can see it's not that bad, honestly, guys. Then we're gonna go over it and kind of sweep it with the X Jet so it's nice and rinsed off and probably rinse it all off over to here where some of the deader grass is. Looking good. This thing's not even really that dirty. Looks pretty good. Yeah, this thing should clean up good with that mix. Yeah, no soap in this mix here, so won't be any weird surfactants in the pool. It's always a plus. Oh yeah. Alright, so I'm going to have Callum finish this up. And yeah, pull some of this hose for him back. blast out these gutters and I'll be out back here to blast out some gutters. Let's get going. Alright guys, that water is almost jammed up full, which is great. We're gonna have to rinse off that patio. These gutters shouldn't take much water at all. So 
Uh, also, uh, I like to do two before I get up on the ladder when I'm using like a pressure washer. Make sure I'm in the right pattern that I would like to use. Usually you're gonna want a uh, strong shooter tip, straight stream pattern. Do stuff like this with, All right? Hey, you can see that cock is all destroyed. Right there, that seal. See that? That's gonna be an issue right there, guys. Dog's ball right there, brother. I could clog up your gutter nice and easy. See, we're not hitting any of these roof shingles. We're just flashing right in that gutter there. Guys, things still wet, but came out nice. All right, guys, downstreaming right here. Got this little cape here. Well, not too little. It just looks little from the front. But I remember me and my father's home way back when, years back. They like garden hoses and a 12 volt, I think, or a booster. Forget which one we're using. Yeah. Yeah. I got some other ones in there too. All right, we're in rinse right here. You can see all the grime coming down, especially out of these windowsill areas. Again, we're gonna be hitting it with a brush, so it is what it is. But yeah, there's a lot in the in the tracks and stuff coming down. And we also got this moss and the down there. Blast all that out of there. Don't want it looking like that. Get all the dirt right off the little concrete pad here. Looking good. All right, we're about to start on this deck here. Right, this is all rinsed down, windows all cleaned off. Some dirt dripping right there, but wipe that off with a rag. And everything else looking pretty darn good. You wipe that sill right there. That's about it. <sighs> Always gonna walk around with the rag afterwards, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. So I just tripped over that. So <laughs> get cam working now. But yeah, the stuck's coming out good. Lightened up a lot right here. You can see like the lattice and stuff. And we're just rinsing off like all the siding. We did all the siding over the right there where it's a little shady. A little shady right here too. So got some time to let it dwell for a minute. Now we rinse it. And on this house too, got an odd thing again. Another house like this with this outlets way up there in that little, like right under the uh, gutter, a little wild, eh? And I think that's for, they got plugged in, um, how is it called, the little heater things on the roof. So it doesn't uh, get rid of the ice dams. Taking that uh, thick layer of mold off and a lot of the black as well. I got this whole deck here. Just pressure washed all of it with the X jet. So it's looking real nice now. Every inch of it, every baluster, everything. With the high pressure after we house wash mixed it, this thing's gonna be looking beautiful. Afterwards, with moss on it, black really coming through, so it's looking good. This house, 
uh, I think four or five years ago now, so it's looking good. And we got Calum right here, he's spraying up some mix. We got some uh, spots right here on the um, trim, on the sill, and right in the peak where the wiring is. And in this peak here too, a little on the vents and a little in the J channel in the trim on the left part there. I would just shoot it, tip it up, or whatever, or just crank it that way. Yeah, maybe I'll hit it. Well, yeah, I would just go to right here and just wait, and then we'll do the front. Front of the house here, just gonna get some of that moss off of there next to the dormer and the roof area. Yes, yeah, the shady side of the house, guys. The smallest part, of course. Yeah, this thing's coming out good, guys. Um, I know that we did pressure wash the wooden deck, but we're not gonna hit these boxes like that. We would clean them up great, but they're pretty old, and I don't like hitting flower boxes because you break them. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because the M5 twist really isn't taking everything off of it anyway, so. And the customer also doesn't care, so it's all good. Yeah, Calum's just really soaking this thing up. Nice. Yeah, Calum's just soaking this thing down. I'll show you guys the front real quick. some stuff right there that will not come off there but it is what it is Just going around making sure oh, it looks good and take the tape off all at the same time yep. I do that while Callum's rinsing the last side so if I see anything we still got the machine out you know Shingles. Yeah, you don't want to give a newbie that. The old X shit. Yeah, we got all the uh, moss off right there. We did that with the M5 twist. We did not do that with an X shit, guys. You'll tear up those shingles. Well, yeah, it may accidentally, you know, so we like to do low pressure. You probably ball valve it even. But, hey, yeah, see Calum doing it by hand. <laughs> all right, look at all that. here the garage now I'm just open up all like the railings up there as well we do the furniture really black on this cutter though yeah, get some green on the stairs here. 
take that off. Nice. You see it's all wood surrounding this. You tell it the SH from like all the pool shock from going over. Lightening it up over the years. <laughs> it's funny. Ah, yeah, it's cleaning that gutter up pretty nicely. I don't know if I can zoom in or not. Nope. <laughs> that looks good. It's coming out good. Hey right, guys, is the rounds here. And we cleaned up this furniture. Downstreaming. Actually, no, we did not downstream this. I took a pump spray out with 6%. Cleaned it off nice and easy. An M5 twist. <coughs> M5 twist rinse. Huh? <coughs> Sorry, guys, I'm kind of sick. Ugh. Soaked up right here in the front of the garage. Use the pump spray for the weather stripping. Make it nice and easy for us. What do we got back here? All right, yeah. See all this. It's coming off good. Probably just wipe that off right there. That's yeah, coming out good, guys. Let's go check out what the front of this home here looks like. I, uh, like I said earlier, actually, um, taped off that door. Cause we got an all wood door. Pretty nasty out front here though, guys. We will be showing you this. We got a lot of plants. We also had a lot of wires all freaking big mess, you know? Uh, we don't want those issues, nobody here, so. Yeah, typical. He says no, he doesn't. <laughs> Sorry, but I left without taking a video of the ending result of the front of the house here. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys tomorrow or the next day. We're super busy building the, our truck. So, we'll see you when we can. Peace.